what you have is, uh, you know, China and Russia uh, banding together uh, in this particular case because of perceived aggressions by uh, the United States and the EU, kind of a colonial versus uh, the rest of the world. Uh, it's unfortunate. Um, generally, the third rail of uh, American politics uh, internationally was to uh, balance China and Russia, maintain at least cordial relations <clears throat> with one of those countries. But at this point, it seems that that uh, kind of uh, thought has gone out the window. Now we see these uh, newest sanctions. How does Beijing view these sanctions regarding Xinjiang? In addition to what seems to be a new set announced each week for a different reason, what is the likely response or could we see a response from Beijing? Well, you've already seen a, a, some response. There has been a criticism of uh, t 10 EU parliamentarians and four uh, research institutions on the EU side, and uh, you can expect more on this. It, it, make no mistake, this was a carefully orchestrated uh, situation, everything from the meeting with the Quad, uh, the provocation towards China at the uh, meeting in uh, Alaska, uh, and the sanctions uh, all are part of Biden's idea of creating this new alignment against uh, China and Russia. But, you know, at this point, Elaine, we live in a this kind of post-hypocritical world. Uh, and what I mean by that is the U.S. starts a kind of forever war in the Middle East, uh, radicalizes uh, many elements of, you know, is the Islamic faith, uh, those spread out into terrorism, China is dealing with the aftermath of that in Xinjiang. You know, remember, there were many uh, people from Xinjiang, Uyghurs, who joined in the ISIS and other radical movements, uh, or terrorist movements around the world. And now China is being criticized for what it thinks is doing constructively to solve the situation. So when you look at the sanctions, um how much farther can they go? Because, you know, we see the U.S. and, and the West, uh, Europe, as you mentioned. Um, do you think they're symbolic or can they cause or are they causing real harm in these relationships? They are uh, causing real harm. I mean, this uh, represents an escalation. Prior to this, China had refrained from actually using unilateral uh, sanctions uh, in retaliation. Uh, but now it has uh, give, uh, taken that next step. Uh, this this does represent a you know, a point, a watershed, where things could go quickly downhill.